In this video I'm going to illustrate how to draw a graph like this in Minitab, a graph that has means and error bars for one variable plotted out by one or, in this case, two grouping variables. So let's start by looking at the data file. Here's the variable I'm interested in, it's a count, and the two variables I want to use as the grouping variables are site here and location here. And because locations are along a transect, I want to plot those along the x-axis and plot a different line for each site. So let's get started. We need to go to graphs, interval plot, and we've got one y variable with groups. Now, for the graph variable, I select the variable I want to plot and then down under here, under Categorical Variables, I select the two variables I'm going to use for grouping. And first I put the ones which are going to go along the x-axis, and then I select the Categorical Variable that's going to separate out my groups. Now, I want to have an interval bar, a mean symbol, and a mean connect line. So I've checked all those boxes. And I only want to use some of the sites here. So under Data Options, I've specified rows to include using rows that match a particular condition. And I've typed the condition in here. Site is equal to CCR underscore L or site is equal to CCR, ccr underscore s, or site is equal to epr underscore w. So only the cases or the samples that match those conditions will be included in this graph. OK, now at this point I can simply draw o, hit OK to draw the graph, and here it is. It doesn't look too much like the graph I'm after, but we can get there fairly quickly. First, click on the symbols, and then I hit just Control t to bring up the Edit dialog. Over to the Groups tab, and I want to select Site to assign attributes. And I'm going to check the box down here so that all of the different aspects of the data display are assigned by Site. And automatic immediately we can see the graph starting to look a lot more like the way I want it to be. Now to even up the way in which the points are displayed here as they're staggered across the diagram, let's edit the axis. So I've double clicked on the axis to axis to edit it. Here with gap within clusters. I'm going to change that to be minus 0 0.95. If I make it minus 1, the symbols will line up exactly, but that means they'll also overlap. So that brings them up fairly closely, but they're still slightly separated, so that we can distinguish the different symbols. Now, the error bars. Again, Control t I want these to be the usual standard error, rather than the confidence interval. So now this graph is starting to look a lot more like what I'm after. Now in Minitab there's a three click system. Click once to edit all the symbols, click twice to edit the symbols for a group, and click three times to edit a particular symbol. So what I want to do first is edit all the symbols and just make them a little bit smaller. So I'll make the size one here, and I'll make them all circles. Now I can click again on the first group to change the symbols just for that particular group, and I want these to be blue. Green and red are good colours for the others, so I'll leave those alone. Now, the lines. I think these lines are a bit narrow, so I'm going to make all of them size 2. And then I'm going to click and change the lines to match the colour of the points. Now, 
and in each case here I'm hitting Control T to bring up the edit box. Now that's starting to look a lot more like the graph I'm after. I can go a little bit further and change the error bars here to be the right colour which are wrong colour there and now this is very close I don't like that hit it and hit delete hit it and hit delete and now we've got a bit of a mess down here and the y-axis label is not too clear double click that down the bottom here this is a mean and it's plus minus the standard error so I've fixed that and lastly to fix the x-axis labels over on the show tab I can turn off the site labels because they're not useful and I can turn off the LOC label as well over here on the labels themselves the minus 5, minus 3 and so on are not too meaningful so I'm going to change those R for right, far, mid, close and then R, then F, L So I've changed those numeric labels to be text, which is more representative and clearer to read. And all I need to do is make sure that I separate the labels out by spaces. And that is pretty much the graph I'm looking for.